and I am from the Management Study Guides content team. Welcome to the course Event Management. Ross Sullivan worked as a project manager in the software testing department at Galaxy Software Inc. for about five years. During his tenure at Galaxy, Ross had been asked to organize many small to medium-sized events. Ross received a lot of praises for his well-organized events such as seminars, workshops, trainings, team outings, etc. Ross took up these event organizing tasks that were delegated to him by his boss with a lot of enthusiasm and zeal. He had always wanted to start a business of his own. However, while working in the field of software testing, Ross had always felt that he was caught in the wrong job. He found that his job was monotonous, lacked creativity, was not challenging enough and did not give him the liberty to try new things. After a lot of thought and contemplation, Ross decides that he would start a small startup business of event management rather than anything to do with software testing. Ross felt that an event management company would best satisfy his needs for creativity, challenges, novelty and diversity in his job responsibilities. So, Ross founded his startup event management company named Togetherness Events Private Limited. The first project of Ross's company was to organize a fundraiser event for an NGO working for the underprivileged children. The NGO expected about 500 people to attend the event. Ross started preparing with great zeal and enthusiasm for the first event being organized by his company. However, as the preparations began to progress further, Ross realized that he was not really ready to organize events on such a grand and massive scale. Finally, when the day of the event arrived, Ross faced his first failure as an event organizer and also learned his first lesson. The event was a failure on several aspects. Ross, who did not have much experience in organizing such large-scale events, was not able to estimate the amount of food and drinks that would surface a crowd of 500 people. What do you think Ross failed to understand? Can Ross become a good event organizer? Yes. Ross failed to understand that event management is definitely not a simple task. It is a highly complex process that involves creative skills, project management skills, leadership skills, skills related to logistics management and skills related to management of technical stage equipment. Also, Ross or anyone can definitely become a good event organizer if he understands the small, intricate details involved in organizing any type of an event such as corporate hospitality, charity gala dinners, award functions, seminars, workshops, training events, conferences, product launches and exhibitions, etc. Let us learn about event management in detail. Let's take a look at the objectives that we will be covering during this course. Explain what is an event. List the types of events. Describe the importance of events. Explain the steps to create and theme an event. Explain the five W's of event creation. Explain the steps of the event planning process. Describe the methods for evaluation of events. Explain use of Gantt charts in event management. Explain how to choose an ideal venue. Explain the key steps in event marketing. Explain elements of event promotion and marketing. Explain the steps of event budgeting process. Explain the role of HRM in event management. Explain components of safety in event management. And explain how to organize great events. So let's begin with event management.
An event is a consciously planned and conducted or organized presentation or activity aimed at achieving specific objectives. For example, a promotional event organized to promote a new offer on a product is an example of an event. There are a wide variety of events which follow different formats and ideas and vary greatly in their size, content, impact and resources that you can choose from and organize, such as follows. Concerts, fairs, fates, carnivals, charity gala dinners, theater performances, seminars reenactments, kids' activities, historical commemorations. There are various reasons for which events are organized. Moreover, events are an important and significant part of our personal as well as professional life. Events are important because events provide an opportunity for flow of goods, services and money in the society. Events create a positive atmosphere in the society which contributes to goodwill and positive feelings amongst the participants. The five W's of an event creation that can help you define the context or the parameters of the event. These five W's are Why? Why are you organizing the event? Who? Who do you want to attend the event? When? When is the best time to stage this event? Where? Where is the best place to stage the event? What? What theme or idea or concept will best serve the objectives of the event? Let's look at each of these in detail. The following are the steps of the event planning process. Step number one, deciding the vision and theme of the event. Step number two, conducting a situational SWOT analysis. Step number three, Setting goals and objectives for the event. Step number four, determining the event's feasibility. Step number five, choosing an appropriate organizational structure for the event. Step number six, creating an event management plan. Step number seven, evaluating the event. Let's take a look at each of these steps in detail. How to choose an ideal venue. You should select a venue that best matches the needs and resources of the event, keeping in mind the below factors. The venues match and contribution to the theme and atmosphere of the event, capacity of the venue site, availability of the site on the required date or dates, waste management facilities, reputation of the venue, ease of accessibility for deliveries and emergency services, Access to transport. The following are some of the possible event expenditures. Cost of hiring or sourcing people. Costs for prizes, awards, gifts, giveaways. Cost of catering. Cost for decoration and displays. Cost of waste management. The following are some of the important components of public safety that you should carefully consider while planning an event. Security management and crowd control, venue of public assembly, lighting and electrical components, temporary structures, fireworks and pyrotechnics. Let's look at each of these in detail. With every course, you get to view the course content online, download the PowerPoint presentation and get the course completion certificate. With new courses added regularly, we offer you a continuous learning platform. Join our premium membership plan and get access to unlimited courses. All our plans are backed up by 30-day money-back guarantee. If you are not completely satisfied, we'll give you a full refund. We are so confident that you will enjoy the membership that we are willing to let you try at our risk, not yours.